Hi guys, it is me, Hope from Cedaholic Gardens. And as you know, I am the Cedaholic <laughs> of the gardening community. So today, as the title says, this is about a gardening book, an unboxing, and a blessing. The gardening book I got, you guys know I'm working on winter growing. So I got this, which is the quintessential book of winter growing. It's called Four Seasons harvest and this is by Elliot Coleman so I gotta deep dive this and really get my winter growing plan together I'm kind of haphazardly throwing myself at it this year but I want to really figure it out for next year and so the unboxing is if you guys don't know I am a winter sower and if you don't know what winter sowing is go check out my coach's channel her name is Cheryl with an S, S-H-E-R-Y-L, man, M-A-N-N, -N, and her channel is The Juicing Gardener. And she teaches you to grow your seeds in cold climates in mi milk jugs turned into mini greenhouses. And last season, I had the best um, success rate in my garden I have ever had as far as hardening off. Um, years past, I've had dampening off. I've had laggy plants. I've had hard time getting them hardened off. None of that this past season. So, and if you um, don't want to watch videos, you can go to wintersewing.org, Trudy Davidoff's side, the inventor of the method, and read how to do it. But the unboxing is this. You saw me pull these out of the envelope, and guess what, CD got? You got it. I got seeds. And I got them from a lady in our group, Charlie, who owns her own seed house. And I mentioned I wanted a couple things. And I did, I wanted specifically Blue Lake Pole Beans, Thai Basil, Holy Basil, or Thai or Holy Basil or Tulsi. And she sent me those plus a bonus. And for those of you who are, who are in our winter sewing group, if you look at her site um, information that Cheryl links constantly, there is a discount for members of the group. And so the, she sent me a bonus, and one of the things she sent me was this, Malabar spinach. And this is awesome because this grows in the heat of summer when all other greens have bolted and it's a vine. And look how many seeds there are, guys. Oh, my gosh. So excited. She also sent me Wando peas. And these are a sweet pea. This is a shelling-type pea, if I remember. Um, cor correctly because I grew this years ago and I really liked the flavor and I back then even though I was a seedaholic I just bought seeds I didn't think to save any well I'll be saving these guys she sent me the blue lake pole beans which I wanted because if you saw Luke and my gardener's video he planted these in late June or July and was picking these until the first or second week of October and he's up in Michigan and I'm in Chicago so <laughs> that's camera guys um, here that you see in the corner but anyways I wanted to try these because I'm going to do a succession planting next season of these guys to hopefully get them to give me keep cropping on um, as long as he did so I can put a bunch in my freezer because right now I've used up all of my green beans and it's only Thanksgiving then I got True Green Improved Hubbard Squash. And you guys know I've said I'm going to be very squash forward in my vid my uh, planting um, this next season. I've said it in several videos and I mean it. So this gets to be about 15 to 20 pounds or more per squash. And so I plan to plant at least five of these so that we can feed a lot of people up at the pantry garden where I volunteer. Then she sent me, oh boy, she sent me so many things. I don't even know what else she sent me. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, and there's so many seeds. This is Maruba Santo Chinese. And to me, it looks like a form of bok choy, but look at just massive amounts of seeds. And this is charliebows.com, I believe. If it that is not the right website, I will find it, and I will definitely link it in the description box below because even if you're not in our seed groups with this quantity of seeds please support my gardening group buddy 
and apparently my friend. Thank you so much, Charlie. And I'm not done, guys. She sent me black cherry tomato, and I requested this because every one of you guys that grows it says it's delicious, and I didn't have any seeds. So I'm excited to get those. This is another one I planned to order, but my money was a little funny this time, so I let her know that, and she really took good care of me. This is um Florence Fennel Herb. I mean, I paid for um what I requested, but she just blessed me with so many extras. I don't even know how to say thank you. I wish I knew what country she was from. I'm hoping she's Filipina. If she's Filipina, let me say to you, Salamat, Inday. Salamat, Ding. If you are not Filipina, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say it in your language, but I will say from the bottom of my heart in English, thank you so much because I'm excited to get this. My best friend's Italian, and I told you guys a while ago, she taught me to use this in place of onions with Italian sausage and uh, potatoes and tomatoes. Oh my gosh, so good. You got to try that recipe. And I will link a, I'll give you a link to that because it's a really simple recipe and it's delicious if you eat meat. And if you don't eat meat, just eliminate the sausage. Then I got, um, this is another basil that I wanted. It is Thai basil or holy basil of Tulsi. It's used in Ayurvedic medicine, and which is um, Indian like um, med and Asian medicine and a lot of yogis use it. And I thought, you know, anything that's holy, let's try it. Every little bit of extra helps and any extra basil, you know, you can have in your garden around your peppers, your tomatoes helps keep the pesky pests away, as Letitia would say. And then um, she gave me some sugar snap peas and that it does, it just says sugar snap peas, garden pea. And I told you they're my son's favorite and I did not get any harvest this year. I got one pod, which I did give to him, which he appreciated it because it was literally that one I showed you in that one video back in, I want to say June, just that one. So this year I'm going to do better. And then here is Swiss chard and this is perpetual spinach. And this I requested because this is a cold hardy crop that I can grow under cover all winter long. And we really like shard here. If you haven't had shard, even um, rainbow shard, those beautiful colors you see in the grocery store, try growing it and use it where you would spinach. Or um, what we did for ooh, months was just pick the leaves and throw them in our eggs. And then I take the stems and save them and juice them because if you remember guys, Cheryl did a video a few years back about juicing stems and how much nutrition nutrition is in your stems, so don't throw them away. And then she gave me a Chinese cabbage mabuna, which I didn't have, so I'm eager to try that. And then she gave me, oh boy, red pear tomato. And you guys have heard me talk about yellow pear, now I have its sister. So You'll be seeing me grow these because I like them so much. They are prolific, prolific, prolific. I'm only going to do two plants here, two plants at the community garden and two plants at the food pantry garden because you know how I feel about picking little tomatoes. And like I said before, it's a commitment. And these pear tomatoes will wear you out. <laughs> I promise you. So if you don't like to pick and harvest, don't take my advice. Don't plant more than one. And then she gave me Italian large leaf basil, which can never have enough with as many tomatoes as we plant. And finally, she gave me Chicago warded Hubbard, which I'm very excited about because this is my main, my city. I don't live in Chicago proper. I'm in the suburbs, but I am in zone 5B Chicago. And so I, again, I just want to say to Charlie, thank you so much for blessing me. This is awesome. I got seeds to sort into my boxes. I got a book to read. So I've got things to do this winter. Plus I might sneak downstairs and plant a couple of these. Shh. But anyways, as always, blessings of bounty to you and yours in this and every gardening season. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and may your garden always bring you joy. See you guys next time.